Hello everyone. Welcome to the tutorial of OpenCV by InsideAML. In this video, we are going to download Anaconda and going to set up our virtual environment. We are going to download Python, OpenCV in that virtual environment and get started with Jupyter Notebook. In this tutorial, we are working with Python. The reason behind that is like Python is open source and Python is really simple to learn. That's why we are using Python. Well, if you're totally new to Python, then you can have a look at the Python tutorial on our YouTube channel. You will definitely love it. So before starting this video, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel of Inside AML, then do subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss a single update. I'm a money India instructor at Inside AML. Let's get started. For downloading Anaconda, first we would be downloading Python and then we would be downloading Anaconda and uh, then only we are going to set up our virtual environment where we would be downloading OpenCV and some other essential things. So go to your Chrome browser, whatever default browser you're using and type download Python. So Python is open source software and you can find the link on www.python.org. Go over here and download Python 3.7. Why we are downloading Python 3.7 is Python 3.7 is much compatible with uh, OpenCV rather than Python 3.9. So this is the whole reason of downloading Python 3.7. Now what you have to do, go over here and click on this. This will start downloading the Python 3.7 and as it downloaded, just go to click next, next, next and download that python.exe file to your system. I have already downloaded, so I didn't need to download that. So as you are ready with Python, you just type Python and you can see over here the Python in your in your operating system. Or you can directly go to command prompt, type CMD and you can directly type Python and it will show you which Python version you have. So currently I'm working with Python 3.9, so it will show you. So you have to just go to uh, next, 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 and you would be set up. Uh, you would be set up with the Python. So now, as we have downloaded Python, again it's time to download Anaconda. Go to your system, type uh, download Anaconda, and Anaconda is also a free software. We have talked about what is free software in the first video. Go to individual edition. Individual edition means personally you are going to work with that software. This is bit a big software, so yeah, there's no issue. Go over here, you just see about the data of this. You can di directly click on download for Windows if you're using Windows and it will download it in a moment. So as it get downloaded, you have to just click next, next, next and it would be downloaded in your system. The file name would be anaconda202, anaconda32021.0.exe. So as it get downloaded, you would be able, you would be able to see this in your window option, the whole apps. You'd be having this Anaconda Navigator. You would be having this PowerShell prompt, Jupyter Notebook, that default one. You won't be having this. We would be talking about how to bring this into your system, Jupyter Notebook OpenCV. So as you have downloaded now, just run this Anaconda Navigator. This will take some moment to open up. Now uh, the Anaconda Navigator interface will open in front of you. It would be something like this. And you can see these things over here. Maybe you won't see this launch button, but there's no issue. You just see these things over here. So now what you have to do, you have to make a virtual environment. What is virtual in environment? Let's understand that. Let's understand virtual environment, okay? So virtual environment is something a isolated environment. So let me help you to understand this with an example. So you want uh, you want to eat a Maggie, and uh, there's an option that uh, you want to eat that Maggie with less salt. Okay, so you want to eat that Maggie with less salt, and you want to along with that you want to eat something, and that is like a, a sweet thing. Okay, and you want that something else, like you want that to be sugar. So it's something like a sweet, okay? So it's not possible that you mix together these two dishes can't be mixed together because it's going to totally spoil your test. 
so for having that what you're gonna do you are going to put this into different plate and you're going to put this into different plate so you're going going to put your maggie in different plate and you're going to put your sweets in different plate and this is how you isolate that and this is how you are not going to like uh, mix their taste same in the case of virtual environment some particular application wants some particular type of software. So I say it that OpenCV want 3.7 software of Python and other software or the software such as normal Python use Python 3.9. So it's not possible for a system to directly work with both things at a particular moment. If you work with Python 3.9, it means that it will only be working with Python 3.9. It won't be working with Python 3.7 you have to change the whole thing so for that we create a virtual environment virtual environment is an isolated environment where you do your task whatever task you want to do you just do that task and after that and that would be totally isolated with the whole system okay so you can build a multiple you can build a multiple virtual environment as per your demand you want to build your virtual environment for gaming you want to build your virtual environment for python programming and there are multiple options for you so this is what virtual environment means so for this project for this understanding opencv we would be making our virtual environment so that we can run python 3.7 in our system so this is all about virtual environment now you would be seeing this interface in front of you so what you have to do you have to go to environments and over here you can see multiple environments so these are some environment i was working with but now what you have to do you have to create your own virtual environment maybe you would be just seeing this base root environment because these are the extra environment i have created for that what you have to do go to create and type the virtual environment name so take it as open cv2 and over here you have to click the version of python i have downloaded all the version if you want to see that just leave it okay and create that it takes a lot of time uh, it takes approximately two minutes totally depend on the system performance so i just leave it because i have already made so as you create this uh this will open in front of you and as you click that over here you would be able to see that what are the installed software what are the installed packages in that particular virtual environment so in my opencv virtual environment i have these packages installed so what you have to install you have to install okay so select all and what you have to install we have to install opencv first so go for opencv it's already installed click on this and as you click on this let me show you something so you can see this is opencv just take as example this is opencv so you have to just apply that search for opencv click on this and apply that and as you apply it would be downloaded now what you have to do you have to download jupyter notebook also search for jupyter j u p y t r jupyter click on this and again apply that so as you apply that there would be two options of that opencv is installed in your virtual environment and your jupyter notebook is also installed so this is a practical way this is a, a graphical user interface way to install and make a virtual environment this one also way that is a command line interface by which you can make your virtual environment so we would be covering that also so if you didn't uh, if you find this as a hard and your system is not able able and your system is not able to work with this uh, anaconda navigator then you can do that but this is a simple one so now you are having this whole stuff in your particular virtual environment you can see to install and these are the things installed in this so these are the packages installed in this these are the packages from jupyter notebook and python itself so it's not of like something extra so only python and jupyter notebook and opencv install in this so i said you about creating with command line interface also so for creating a command line interface virtual environment with a command line interface you just go to anaconda navigate to anaconda go to anaconda prompt it is as similar as your command prompt and command prompt if you didn't know about command prompt then do have a, a watch at the video we have uploaded the video on our youtube channel 
or there are multiple resources to learn about command line interface. Basically, command line interface is an interface that allows you to interact with your computer without uh, with the commands directly, not with the toggle buttons or something. So this is what command line interface is. So basic operation you can do in command line interfaces. If you want to change your directory, just write desktop, cd desktop. cd means change directory and it will take you to the desktop. If you want to come back, you just type this. If you want to start something, you just write start and the program name and it will start for you. So this is a basic information to a command line interface. Now what we said, we have to make a virtual environment using Anaconda prompt command line interface. For before starting, uh, there is a conda command. What is conda? Conda is for is a package installer command that actually install the packages and deals with that. So type conda env list and it will show you the whole list of uh, virtual environment we are having. So we have already seen TF2, OpenCV, Car Prediction, and Base. So these are some virtual environment. Now I want to activate that. Now I'm in a base virtual environment. If you see this star at that, I want to go into my OpenCV virtual environment. So what you can do, you can type conda activate OpenCV. And it will activate your OpenCV. Now you can see that it have activated this. And now if you want to install something like you want to install the Python in it, you can directly write conda install Python. Conda install Python. And it will install Python in your system. So it would be space not would be there. Space would be there. Let's install OpenCV. So this will install OpenCV in that. We have already done, but still it's doing. So this is the way to deal with that. So this is a way to start with a virtual environment and set up your virtual environment and work with the things and understand the things. And uh, let's have a small code. Let's open our Jupyter Notebook and let's have a try how Jupyter Notebooks looks like. As usual, navigate through your Anaconda in your system. Go to this and you can see if you have created OpenCV and downloaded Jupyter Notebook, then a virtual environment of Jupyter Notebook would be created in your system. Click on that, it will take you to the browser of Chrome because Chrome is my default browser and over here this interface will open. So I have made a particular folder on the desktop name OpenCV to give you the whole introduction and everything to that. So go to simply new and Python 3 and this will take you to a tab, okay? So these are the particular blocks of tab. You just type this, or click this and it will open a multiple blocks of tab. So how Jupyter Notebook works, this particular tab runs first and this second and this third. So if you're running this tab, just if you know about a simple syntax of Python, then just write print hello inside AIML. And now just click enter and you can see over here the output over here. So now you have run this particular block of code. So this have already run and now you can use this over here also. So if you have declared some function over here, you can work with that function in this block also. This is on not only for coding itself, this also for markdown. So if you want to put something high and just do it this, you know HTML, then you must know the syntax, then it will show a high. So it actually deals with multiple things. So it have various facilities and it's really simple to work. With. That's why we are using Jupyter Notebook environment for this. You just change over here the name and uh, like uh, for start. Rename it and you can see over here. So this is how we would be working with that. And uh, for importing our OpenCV, we would be using OpenCV. We would be using import CV2. CV2 is an abbreviation of OpenCV computer vision. So this is how we would be starting. And yeah, now the things are more going to be of coding. We would be directly implementing the things. This is all about like up to now we have done with the theory part and we are not going to repeat the theory part. I believe you have enjoyed this video and if you have any query, please put down into comment box. We will love to solve your queries 
and in the next video we would be understanding the concepts of image saving showing the image how to take image using open cv like i am read function and i am write function so yeah we would be doing that and uh, so in the next video 